I actually just visited North Star, which is part of the Liberated mm. Learners Network. And I visited them last week and they are located in Sunderland, Massachusetts. Mm. And they are basically a self-directed, you know, center for teens. And, mm -hmm. you know, Ken Danford, who is, say, the director of North Star, I think has utilized Arrow in, in a lot of different ways. I think for, for inspiration, but I also think for consultation. And mm -hmm. I think for a constant kind of just having a community, I think, really, mm -hmm. you know, having a community to rely on, ha knowing that you have a group of people who feel the same way, maybe not in exactly the same way, but at least they understand that, you know, conventional education, there's a lot of, there's issues with it, there's problems with it, and, you know, isn't there a better way to do things? And so I would, I would point to him as an example. I mean, there are a lot of others, but that's just recent mm -hmm. because I was just visiting with Ken last week. Right on, right on. Well, you know, I first met Ken, I think it was the first time I met him, when, they, when Mary Loya, who was the founder of the free school, had a meeting at her family home in Massachusetts. Uh, and at that point, he thought maybe he was going to start a charter school. Mm. You know, he was a regular public school teacher, wasn't sure what he was going to do. And then, you know, there was a lot of interaction and eventually he started uh, something that I, I consider one of the most important innovations and models for educational alternatives. Mm -hmm. And that is the Homeschool Resource Center. And it's been a model for a lot of other people doing similar things. And they've physically helped to start some other ones. Yeah. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.